Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today, really quick, I wanted to talk about the difference between great storytellers and master storytellers. And it's one of those things where there's the line is so thin and so gray and, and the nuance is so hard to find. Um, it's really difficult to put to put there. So I'm gonna try to articulate it. But I mean, you know, you have your amateurs which are like here and then you have people who are decent and then you have great storytellers and then the master storytellers are just like right there but in order to make that that little thing there that to to break that that plane um you have to understand a couple items um but the the thing is what gets you to be a great storyteller uh, and so let me how can I put this so it's it's not just like the difference between a Jedi master a Jedi Knight and a Jedi master it's like even beyond Jedi master there were there were several Jedi masters like even on the in the council in in uh, Star Wars but there were a few that were like beyond they were like the super masters like Yoda and Mace Windu right and eventually Darth Vader became one. He was a Sith Lord, but you see what I'm saying? Like, there's this level of mastery that comes, and it's it's so hard to like really describe. But um the thing that we could say about storytellers is that <clears throat> their purpose is to um the to tell a message or to 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 um to give a message through the most appropriate effective means possible and normally that means getting e emotions in there because emotions are the things that humans can relate with the most and using metaphor and things that I've already talked about I mean the, the, over the course of several videos we will discuss um, different tools used for storytelling but when we're talking about some of the principles, um, what we have to keep in mind is that one of the things, this is from my own notes, one of the things that, uh, that great storytellers do is that they tell from the heart and they reach to the heart. Um, and again, it's that emotional aspect. Like if you can't emotionally connect with someone to where they'll empathize with you, then it's and a lot of times that emotion has to empathize with them first um, a lot of times if, if your story can't do that then it's just a bunch of words on paper and it means nothing and so one of the first quotes I'm gonna use is from Hugh Jackman who as a actor is a very good storyteller in the way he uses his body and his emotions in whatever character he's in to really really get you to to empathize with him um, and what he said was sometimes you have to go places with your characters and emotions within yourself you don't want to do but you have a duty to the story and as a storyteller to do it and it's very true a lot of times a, the thing and I, right now I'm only talking about that level of great storytellers a lot of time a great storyteller um, what makes them so great is that they they were able to go past the taboos they were able to dig deep within and show a part of themselves this vulnerability at the heart of it because the story called for that type of vulnerability that they've left themselves so open that it pulls the audience in because the audience knows what it feels like to be that open and it's so brave of the storyteller to have gone to that extent to bring the story out and um and so again that's the whole reaching from heart to heart but now the question comes well what's the difference between a great storyteller and a masterful storyteller and again this is from my notes just things that I was thinking is that masters can repeat this process of connecting with people 
multiple times with different variables. So a great storyteller may think of a baseball player. Um, you know, a great baseball player may be able to hit a home run. Um, you know, a couple times during the season, and and that makes them great. You know, they they've still done so much for the team. But then you have the masterful hitters, right? Like your Ken Griffey Juniors, um, who can consistently, at least in his heyday, you know, consistently knock balls out of the park, right? And it's and it's it doesn't depend on the pitcher or the 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 pressure of the game or or where they're playing, they consistently can knock the ball out of the park, and that's the real difference. Um, so again, if we went with like you know um, the Jedi analogy, you know, if you took for example, if you think about how, and I'm gonna nerd out here a little bit, but if you think about how Revenge of the Sith ended, where Yoda's like, look. You're gonna have. He's talking to Obi Wan, and he's like, "You're gonna have to go handle Anakin, um, and I'm gonna go handle the Emperor, because and and, and Obi Wan's like, don't send me to fight Anakin. I can't do that. And and Yoda's like, the Emperor is too powerful for you. You can't handle him. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like a great storyteller can can tell a great story under certain circumstances but a masterful one can take on any challenge and it doesn't matter what variable that they're facing they learn to adapt and so um, if you think of and I don't have the quote right in front of me but if you think of Bruce Lee's quote um, he says it, you, you can look it up but it's like he says you should be like water able to shape and mold yourself um, to whatever situation that faces you and that's super relevant because not only okay being being the you know the polymath guy and I have the polymath channel Bruce Lee was one of the greatest polymaths that ever lived in terms of a martial artist actor philosopher book writer um, you know on and on and on um, so when you look at his life um, whatever situation he was faced with, he would he would use that aspect of himself, and he would let that come to the forefront, so that he could um, he could give his best and be masterful at it. The other thing is when you look at his teachings of Jeet Kune Do, JKD, um, it's very interesting. Um, his approach was essentially it could be summed up in that one quote about being like water um he the the main aspect of of Jeet Kwon Do was that there was no one way that someone could fight that it was all dependent upon the situation it was dependent upon the attacker it was dependent upon your surroundings and your environment and that's truly where a master um, will shine whereas a great person won't right someone may be great at Taekwondo which is one form of martial arts and they may be great against one like fighting someone who's who knows Taekwondo but as soon as you get a wrestler up against them and they're within close proximity all of a sudden the, the wrestler has taken the match um, and you could say vice versa you know if, if the wrestler doesn't close that that ground then maybe the guy who knows Taekwondo would win because he has the advantage with distance because Taekwondo uh, there's a lot of kicking involved um, the point is a master is someone who can take all the different variables and tailor their story to the audience and the environment and the specific relevant of that time period um, and they can replicate this over and over again so you know it may be the same story but the thing is, is that the same story has to be told differently to a different audience or a different time so you may t tell the same story that has this the same message which is the purpose of a storyteller 
to one audience. But when you explain it to another audience, because they're coming with different experiences,